Hi everyone, it's Yelena from The Healing Light and I wanted to add on today to some of my videos regarding relationships and it's easy everything when everything is really good but what when we have got um, a relationship and there is an argument happening or discussions or usually it's an argument and I call it hard times and hard to actually put that hard times into understanding of it what where is the man coming from or where is the female coming from generally females are um, confrontation demanding pushing because they're operating from their scars if they don't have their heart open they'll actually do it that way and there will be everything of you'll hear the words what they're going to say is i uh, you and but and to man then he's absolutely lost he's not going to there's a glider up in the sky it's so beautiful i don't know if you're going to be able to see it absolutely adore them um you can hear the airplanes so beautiful um so you and but and i exactly what i don't want you to use it i wanted to use the words and so how do we do that so if you're missing something what your man was was doing before and he's not doing it anymore then you have to say it's like I absolutely adore when you've done this how can we do that again or I'm missing this not like but you're not doing this anymore yeah so think about it how can you go into your heart open up your heart not accuse him why he's not doing it ask yourself maybe he's tired maybe things happen some circumstances how you can come and be more as a supportive woman because the men some of them they're going out there and they're actually going through their own troubles and problems and it's not all about us that they have to go and please us yeah they have to be able to live their life too and they're going through their own personal problems so ask yourself what's happening with him how can i help him to go through the things what he's doing and some of them they will not want it to have our help they will just want us to be calm and collected and operate within a heart and then they know that we're holding on to castle our house castle as as a strength and and it's not moving and we have got what it takes because he needs a little bit of time to recuperate or uh, recharge or whatever the words you wanted to use so it's not all about he's not doing something today for me sometimes you just have to give him a space if it's consistently happening that he's not actually stopped doing something question is are you too much in demanding are you too much in the masculine what are you and how you are coming at him because generally i teach everyone to be obviously females in the feminine energy 80 percent of the time men to be 80 percent in the masculine energy but if you're too much in a masculine energy and he's in masculine man, it's going to be oh it's going to be the same so it's not magnetized how is it going to find the attraction in you how is it going to find it when both of you are in a masculine mode and you're in a fake masculine mode you're not in healthy masculine mode sometimes we have to be in a healthy masculine mode if we have to go do things like obviously we're in a masculine because we're in that leading um part of it you know when we're doing the shopping we're in the leading we're actually making decisions what we have to go and buy for the groceries things like that so we are in that moment into masculine mode and that's okay because we have to we're getting to shopping so ask yourself how you can communicate better and be and operate from your heart not from your mind not from this going to your heart men find it so much more attractive and they will calm down into loving way to you but if the man says to you anytime leave me alone don't pursue it just give him time let him go in the backyard let him go um, for a walk takes the dog for the walk whatever he needs to do let him collect his thoughts and come back to you because if you're at him again you're in a forward energy you're at him you're just going to be in um in repulsive energy for him so just leave him alone let him do what he needs to go and do trust him because what does the word trust represents if you look at the word trust and the way how we spell it in english there's us inside of it 
So if there is no trust, there is no us and there is no relationship. So you need to give it a trust. If you have got um, a trust issues because you've been hurt before and betrayed and all of that stuff, when we're starting a relationship or when we're starting something, what do I always say is like set up your boundaries. Know what you want and that's why it's so healthy before you start up the relationship. That you actually know what would you what do you want? What is your boundaries? What you're gonna stand for? You can go on my website, you can download my freebie, it's all about the boundaries. What is your negotiable? What is your non-negotiable? So go to www.healinglite.com.au And what is your non-negotiable? What is your negotiable? What are you going to stand for? Is it going to be able to talk to the other women? Is it not? Like, um, do you want him to scream and yell so it's like verbal abuse, emotional abuse? What are you going to stand for? What are you going to allow to happen? If we don't actually know what we want, how is it anyone going to know how you want to be treated? I really want you to take pen and paper, write it down. What do you want? What is something that you can negotiate about it? Is it about I don't know, food, things like that. Like, which side of the bed you're going to sleep. I don't know. Things like that. For some people it's important. For some people it's not important. Um, so, like, we'll have got our quirky things. What we like. Um, or is it something that you're going to stand with? How and what do you allow? And how and what you don't allow? But if you don't talk about it. If you talk about it in two or three months time. Well, you're kind of forming this relationship. Then... After three months, he's going to say to you, or she will say to you, it's like, you never told me this, how am I supposed to know this? Which is so true. How are they supposed to know this? Express it. But express it in a way of saying, this is what happened to me in the past. You have to kind of um, express what and exactly what it is that it happened because you don't want to talk about your past partners with your current partner. So, but you can say, like, I had these issues. This is what happened to me. So, this is kind of my scar. And please understand it, but I'm aware of it that I've got a scar for this. But this is where I'm coming from. But you have to not allow that scar to give you a um, way of saying, like, yeah, I can do whatever I want to. I can explode because I've got this scar. Uh -uh. You have to work with it. You have to work with it. If you've been hurt before, a new person, if you express to them, this is what I want or expect. This is kind of what I stand for. Um, then he knows and you just leave it and if something comes up and it doesn't make sense to you just say babe um, this is what happened today this is what a person said something you know and just ask instead of I'm not going to talk to you that's it I'm cutting you off how would that make you feel if that if the shoe was uh, if that was on your side how would that make you feel so think about the other person rather than thinking about yourself how would that make you feel I hope that I do make some sense for you today because it is a hard one and it is hard when we've been hurt before and you're trying to open up the heart of yours it really is it feels so painful and so scary and the things which are coming up the most scary for you is the ones where you have to work on them the ones which you have to work on them for me it's trust and betrayal um, what happened to me in the past so it's like when somebody does something to you or betrays or cheats on you or things like that and that could be just simple as what some of the you know um doesn't have to be physical it could be something that are just like chatting to another woman and things like that it's like that's to you is cheating so therefore you have that scar of not being good enough and not standing up for yourself maybe maybe you allow some things to happen longer than you should and then you're feeling guilty about it and you're just like going okay i don't want that to repeat so if you don't want that to repeat you need to speak up but speak up from your heart there is a difference between the mind and the heart go to the nature go pen in a paper sit somewhere in a park and write down those boundaries what you want and what you don't want and what you're going to stand for and if you ever struggle with that please contact me love and light